Oh, okay. It's like an eavesdrop on people. And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Is there no longer a demand for I can't imagine that would be the case. <laughs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Mm. Oh. Look at this view. Oh, it seems so calm out there. Cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? You're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? This place is full of eligible men. <laughs> I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mir is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't uh, press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. What do you know about Lord Andros? Look elsewhere, Mira. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. Stay out Look of trouble Look at that face here. of disappointment. Eavesdrop on the uh, Andros. It is a lot, but I know how to speak. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitefield trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one who's willing to work. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well. I like this old ease dropping mini game. Let's um, uh, let's talk to Morgan. That's who the one I wanted to ask about. <laughs> oh, please, if you excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? <laughs> that you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. <laughs> I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, when we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. Yeah. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, yep. Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. 
Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, <laughs> Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly <laughs> thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Hmm. Please excuse me. Let's go talk to uh, him over there. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. A Lannister always I just pays get clumsy bits. sometimes. I'm. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady. Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, <laughs> but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Will Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... Well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. I was just trying to be nice to the guy. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly. That story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Darwin. I'll keep your secrets safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting Aww. name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. You say what she's you a, tell me about her She's family? a bastard, I guess? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, 
Ryman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the Damn. poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, huh. actually. He spent all his money trying to get Damn. more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Hm. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady <laughs> Mira. Oh, come on. Can we really talk to him? I guess that's the only... only thing to do. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. If you've landed me in enough trouble, just, just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisford. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. <laughs> Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough oh, wow. to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But, I'd better get my affairs in order. Uh-oh. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that smirk on her face. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. Back to these guys again. You sure you know where you're going? Potter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. 
He's a big guy in his RC. It's not me. I will have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. I don't believe him. This way. Get the bear.